All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Essential Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your daily general love reading. So let's find out what is going on with you and the person on your mind. All right, as always, if you guys wanna book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. I also have online courses and guided meditations. So let's take a look and see. So what is the current status? Keep in mind though, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. It's also timeless. So if it doesn't resonate today, it may resonate tomorrow. My readings are also not intended to continue on from like past readings. So say for instance, yesterday's reading resonated, today today's might not, okay? All right, so let's take a look. What is the current status of this connection, Spirit? What's the current status of this connection? We have the Fool. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so what I'm getting with the Fool card here is the Fool is the first card in the Major Arcana. Or sorry, in the Tarot. But also the Major Arcana. <laughs> um, but this is really a card of new beginnings. This is a card also of taking a leap of faith. Um, so it could be that you and this person, maybe this is someone new or this is someone that, you know, you're really wanting to take a risk on you know if you notice here this this woman is about to fall in and she's about to you know take a risk maybe you've already taken a risk on this person maybe you've already fallen for this person or they've fallen for you but I definitely get kind of a fresh energy coming through here um, there could be a little bit of trust issues so maybe someone in this connection has trust issues um, or that's something that needs to be worked on here but let's let's take a look and see so your person's current energy towards you what's your person's current energy Okay. What's their current energy? We have the sun in reverse, so they're quite, they're sad about this situation. Why is the sun in reverse? We have the page of cups, and we have the king of cups. Heavy water energy could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could be yourself. Um, but I feel like right now this person, they're very sad about this situation. They have a lot of emotion for you. Um, they've got a lot of emotion for you with the Page of Cups and the King of Cups coming through here. Okay. Um, I feel like this person gets quite lost in their emotions at times, though. Um, this is someone who <laughs> might struggle to kind of ground their emotions, okay? It's like they can be very emotional, but they might struggle to, like, ground those emotions and be able to process them. So I feel like that's something that they're working on right now is like, okay, I, I'm having all of these emotions, but how do I ground this? How do I, you know, maintain this? This Because it's almost like this person will feel a lot emotionally, but then they'll kind of, it's almost like, if you notice here, this guy, the other body is sort of floating. I get the sense that this is someone who maybe has a tendency to like disassociate, or it's like they can be kind of like flighty or in and out. Um, like kind of airy if that makes sense, which is interesting because I know this is cups energies and water energy um, But I'm seeing someone who might struggle to actually like ground their emotions Because it's one thing to feel something emotionally But sometimes when you're super emotional, but you have nothing that's kind of tying you down It's like you're kind of floating around so I kind of see this here with this person It's like they're feeling sad. They have a lot of emotion for you But they struggle to kind of ground those emotions, but I do feel like this is something that they're working on Okay, so let's see. So what are you, what's your energy towards this person? What's your energy towards this person? We have the four of swords in reverse. So if you guys have been separated, um, I'm seeing you wanting to open up communication again with this person. Yeah, we do have the two of cups in reverse. So it definitely looks like from your end, there was a falling out, a separation. Um, but I see here, so it looks like in the past you guys, yeah, you guys had a breakup, a falling out, separation, but I see you wanting to come out of that energy, the four swords in reverse, um, break the silence, you're wanting to come out of separation if you've been in separation. This is your energy towards them currently, okay? Let's take a look at the challenge. So what's the challenge between these two, Spirit? What is the current challenge between these two? Timing, seven of pentacles, this could also be patience right now, okay? So this could be a time where there's really not a lot happening on the surface, but there's things happening beneath the, beneath the surface, okay? If you notice here, the Seven of Pentacles, there's something growing, all right? There's something happening behind the scenes with you and this person, but I feel like the challenge is that 
you guys haven't seen the results quite yet, all right? So you could be going through your own process of something or learning lessons and so are they, but in the physical world, this hasn't necessarily manifested yet. There's things kind of happening, happening behind the scenes, all right? Um, so let's see, what are your person's intentions with you right now? So what are your person's intentions with you? Okay, I feel like they want to open up more. Um, this person might have been very mysterious in the past. We have the High Priestess here um, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like if this person was very mysterious in the past or they didn't re really reveal a lot to you, especially when it comes to their emotions, this is someone who wants to open up, okay? I think they struggle to a little bit, but this is someone who wants to open up. Their intentions are to open up more to you. Let's see, what are your intentions with this person? What are your intentions? The Queen of Pentacles. So you're, you're wanting stability with this person. We have the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, okay, I'm getting two messages in terms of intention. So for some of you... Um, you are wanting something more stable with this person or maybe a commitment, but for others of you, to be quite honest, I feel like you're fine just working on yourself or working on your career or your money. It's like you do, um, you know, see the potential with this person, but I feel like you're, you're okay just focusing on your money or your work. Some of you are very work oriented, but take it out resonates because some of you also might be wanting something committed with this person, but I'm just getting two scenarios here. <clears throat> Because keep in mind, this is a very general reading, okay? So let's take a look and see where this connection is heading. So where is this connection heading, Spirit? Where is this connection heading? Oof, we have the Three of Swords. There's still some heartbreak here. Why is the Three of Swords coming through here? It looks like there's some pain coming up here. The Two of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups. So what I'm getting, um, and this is really interesting, but the fact that the Three of Swords is coming through as the outcome in the near future, this would tell me that there, if there has been a separation, I'm still seeing that. I'm seeing, I'm seeing heartbreak here. I'm seeing pain coming up for someone, but I'm also getting that the reason why this is is because someone's avoiding their emotions. Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So this could be you or your person, but I'm seeing the reason why there's heartbreak in the near future for the two of you is because someone is avoiding their emotions. Two of Cups, or sorry, Two of Swords, Knight of Cups. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more detail on this reading. see we have release we have contemplation and we have summer okay I'm gonna clarify this release card why is release here spirit why is release here why is release here the seven of cups in reverse Okay, um, so what these cards are representing here, which is really interesting because we have the release card next to the contemplation, and this is imagery of this guy who's floating in the clouds, and then the seven of cups is also these cups, and this guy is literally floating in the clouds, so these definitely relate. Um, so what I get, what I'm seeing here is that between the two of you, both of you are very much in your head about this connection to the point where you're probably overthinking it. So what you're needing to do is kind of release this need to figure everything out. Um, it's almost like because you're stuck in your head, you're causing more unnecessary confusion than there needs to be. And I feel like there's this release, there, there's this need to release the confusion or need to release like um, being stuck in your head about the connection. I do see here that there could be a shift happening in the summertime. Okay, summer is probably going to be significant. Um, for this connection, but in the near future, it's just telling me that there's some pain here because someone is avoiding their emotions. That's really what I'm getting. Someone's avoiding how they're truly feeling and I feel like it's causing what, either the other person pain or both, both of you guys pain. So like, let's say for instance, it's your person who's ignoring their feelings. 
by doing that it's causing you pain but I feel like it's also causing them pain okay but that could be you so take it how it resonates um, but I'm seeing here that both of you guys are in your head too much about this situation it's like and remember what I was saying to you before about how this person that you're dealing with has a tendency to like they'll feel things a lot but they're not grounded and even if you notice here this guy's like floating in the sky and that's what I'm seeing here we have a guy floating in the sky and we have a guy literally in the sky <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing here it's like this this I feel like a, for a lot of you guys it could be your person that's too much in their head but I think this is for both of you guys but specifically your person does have a tendency to get too much in their head they have a lot of feelings but again it's not they're not grounding these feelings so they're just kind of floating around is what I'm feeling and it's causing a lot of um, mental confusion and there's a need to just release release the like um, trying to figure out like what's going on release that and sort of ground into the energy of what you're feeling and I feel like this is more so your person and what's interesting is the challenge as well is the seven of pentacles which can talk about grounding as well so I do think the challenge could be um, you know being able to ground the energy that you're feeling okay so let's see so what's the advice for my viewers spirit what is the advice for my viewers we have the four of wands in reverse. So I feel like right now, guys, this, this situation um, is not really leading to anything stable at this point. And I do see that with the Queen of Pentacles, you guys are definitely focused on stability right now. Whether this is stability with another person or just stability yourself, right? Like finding your own stability in terms of your work and your career. But I'm seeing here that there's still some instability within this connection. Okay. Um, so let's finish off with a few messages from your person. So what are your person's messages for you? I've cried over you. Yeah, like I said, this person is very emotional. Again, we're getting the three of swords in the near future. So like I said, if it's your person who's been kind of avoiding what they're feeling, because I do see that they feel a lot, but they might be avoiding this. Keep in mind, they're not grounding this energy. So I see a lot of heartbreak in the near future, but this could also be for your person. And we also have, I've cried over you. Okay, like you're, you're actually really dealing with someone who's very, very emotional. Um, so that's why I'm getting heavy water energy or definitely have water in their chart. We have you're so beautiful. Okay, and we have I don't want this to be over with us. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm seeing here that this person is struggling with this situation. Um, I'm going to clarify this real quick, though. I've cried over you. Clarify this here, Spirit. For their person, clarify this. I've cried for you. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, wow. Um, so this person, they've cried over you because they feel like you're their Ten of Cups. They feel like you're their complete emotional fulfillment. But again, look at all of this. All this Cups energy. So much, so much Cups here for this person. So again, this is someone who's very much... Um, you know in their emotions but I do feel like right now they're it's like almost too much for them that they're kind of trying to avoid it at this point but at the same time too they're saying here I don't want this to be over with us okay um, but yeah I'm seeing here that in the near future this is definitely deeply affecting your person I feel like they have cried over you already and I'm seeing that they're still going to be crying over you in the near future because I feel like this connection is definitely affecting them a lot um, let's clarify this. I don't want this to be over with us. We have the Eight of Wands and the Magician in reverse. Okay. Um, I feel like this person has been trying to manifest some sort of communication with you, but they haven't been successful at it. Um, but yeah, they're just not wanting this to be over. Okay. But this person's not really in their power right now. It does look like their intentions are to open up to you. I feel like in the past they didn't, but I'm not really seeing that that's going to be happening because they're still in this avoidance energy, okay? Um, so your advice is the four of wands in reverse, so don't be expecting any stability from this situation quite yet. Um, for those of you who are very focused on your money, that's probably the way to go right now. Find stability within yourself first right now. Um, I don't think it's happening in terms of the, this connection quite yet. But keep in mind, things can always shift and change. We also have the summer card here, so things can be turning around um, in the next little bit. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. As always, if you wanted to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. 
all right? But I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.